this point, it's almost like empty words. That's what they say, empty words. Employees frustrated they haven't gotten paid as the development and construction companies they work for are shutting down and firing employees. Thanks for joining us for 2 News at 5. I'm Mark Cabell. And I'm Heidi Hatch. We first told you about this last week at Forge Metals, where employees said their paychecks were delayed before they were eventually let go. Other companies under the same owner are now in the same situation. Yeah, our Daniel Woodruff has been uh, pushing for answers from the people in charge. And Daniel, are they saying anything else today? No, Mark and Heidi, they're not. I reached out today to the co-founders of developer Q Factor behind me here and their attorney who's listed on all the documents with the state when those companies were registered. Nobody has responded. I also went to the headquarters today personally. Someone there refused to let me into the building. Meanwhile, one former employee here says he doubts he'll ever get paid as he's been waiting now nearly a month for his money. Brandon Reese just celebrated one year working at construction company Titus Concrete and Shotcrete, but he didn't make it much beyond that. He got this termination letter last week telling him Titus was closing and they were working to get him paid as quickly as possible. You haven't been paid in how long? Since October 6th, I haven't been paid. He estimates dozens more are in his position just from Titus, not to mention other companies affiliated with developer Q Factor. The outlet Building Salt Lake reported that affiliated general contractor Maker's Line is also done. And last week at Forge Metals, also affiliated, employees said they were paid late, if at all, before getting fired. Are you Jason? Yeah, but we don't prey on people, so now we're not going to do it. Well, we're not praying on people either. We're just trying to get some answers. Last week, 2 News' Brian Malahi confronted company co-founder Jason Winkler about all of this. Brandon watched that report. He said that we don't prey on people, and that kind of got under my skin personally. He believes the company should have foreseen its financial situation and protected employees better. Our leadership got in front of the entire company and said, guys, Everything is going to be okay. Just trust us. And here you are. And here we are. Now today I did check a number of the websites for these companies that have closed down like Titus and Makers Line. And if you go look at them, they are listed as private, no longer public. Now, these affected employees, what can they do? Well, we've been told by the Utah Labor Commission that they can file for lost wages claims there, and then they are also encouraged to file unemployment claims with the Utah Department of Workforce Services. Live in Salt Lake City, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.